Hi. Today we are going to talk about unspent transaction output, or in short, UTXO. Let's visualize a part of a blockchain. We fill three of them up and leave a fourth new block empty for some new transactions. This is Alex. Alex has a Verus wallet and has received 53 Verus coins so far, in four separate amounts. Now, these four separate amounts is essentially what UTXO is all about. Let's use two balls to explain. The first one shows the total amount of coins in your wallet, pictured as water in a bowl. The second one shows four water capsules in that bowl, each holding their own amount. They don't mix in the second bowl. Now let's have a look what that means. Meet Mary, a friend of Alex. She recently created a Veris wallet, but does not have any coins yet. So Alex wants to send Mary 28 of his coins to get her started. The Veris wallet will try to use the smallest UTXO values first in order to fill a desired coin transaction size, which in this case means it needs all four UTXOs to get to 28. When Alex sends the transaction, all four UTXOs will be spent and turns them into STXOs, spent transaction outputs. This is just a background process required and you will never see it. Next, two new transactions are created on the blockchain for two new UTXOs. One for the 28 Veras going to Mary and one for sending the change of the transaction back to Alex. The transactions will go into the latest block in the blockchain so they can be confirmed by all the nodes. I will explain how that all works in another animation. So all that is left to do is to send the 28 Veris coins to Mary's wallet and send a change of the transactions back to Alex's wallet. And this of course is all done automatically.